Lucas Media. So P Diddy, aka Puff, aka Puff Daddy, has had two more devastating things happen to him over the past week. The first one that I came across was the honorary uh, doctoral degree that he got from his alma mater, Howard University. Um, from those who don't remember, Diddy was honored that several years ago, and he ended up giving that back. And one more thing, Diddy's hometown of New York City, Diddy was forced to give up the key that he got to the city of New York um, by Mayor Eric Adams' office. Now, they released a statement saying, like many people, I was deeply disturbed by the recent video footage of Sean Diddy Combs assaulting he this his then partner. I strongly condemn these actions and stand in solidarity with all the survivors of domestic and gender-based violence. Our city worked tirelessly to make sure survivors are heard and seen by our administration. The key to the city of New York is presented to individuals who service the to the public and the common good rises to the highest level of achievement and those who act as a model for fellow and future new yorkers and i'll just leave the rest or y'all y'all can read the letter for the rest also you know diddy's had to give up he sold his shares in several other companies including revolt which he started what several years ago you know, so this is this is 2024. This has been the year bad for Diddy. Now I stand conflicted because at the same time, you know, you have other people out here who I've made plenty of videos about where they do stuff on camera, and then you have people like Stephen A. and other apologists come out and say that they're not perfect. But when it comes to somebody who looks like me, they're the face of you know any type of violence or any type of uh, thing that you don't want. But at the same time, Diddy treated a lot of people bad. He treated a lot of people bad. Just go back and listen to interviews before he got busted. Where uh, it was a D dot talking about did he have people washing his cars and all type of wild stuff. Also, remember when he made the band walk to get a cheesecake, and you could tell Diddy was like, "No, go to Brooklyn, go get me a cheesecake." You heard what I said. There's footage of him in 2011 down here in Atlanta. Him and Ti at a concert, and he mad because a guy don't drink Ciroc. And 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 this is somebody in the crowd. You know, this is a regular nine to fiver. And instead of Diddy handing the man a bottle of Ciroc, Diddy throws a drink at him and dares him to do something. Now, of course, dude had a Diddy had a bunch of security up there, so wasn't nothing gonna happen. But you see these actions. If you've heard these actions, it's just it took Cassie to bring him down, and now people's coming out and saying, "Oh, he was such a horrible person." And you know, where was this stuff echoing echoing back then? So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't feel bad for Diddy. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But at the same time, I mean, we're not going to ignore all these different scenarios where, again, somebody can smack their wife on camera and Stephen A. Smith comes out and him and Molly come out and just flat out give excuses. And then it never gets brought back up no more either. And I'm talking about, you know, the whole Dana White situation. It never gets brought back up. Is they, they just move on and you bet not talk about it. But when it comes to Diddy and other people, you want to talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and talk about it. And how come these other celebrities and stuff, they don't have to get keys up to the city? But no, overall, I don't feel bad for Diddy. I mean, hey, he going to have to go lay down for a little minute, meaning he going to have to disappear. You bound for just go to Bali, stay over there for 10 years. Will Smith, well, he dis he went off the radar for what, two, three years? I think two years. So Diddy, you know, it's going <laughs> to... Diddy going to have to be gone for at least a good five to ten years where don't nobody hear about him. Then he might be able to come back. But and all oh, one more thing, the feds as well. You know, remember the feds raided his crib. They normally don't do that for anything. So I won't be surprised if an indictment comes down. But you, now, you know, Diddy has the dream team, but we'll have to see. I mean, it's a it's a lot going on with Diddy. It's a lot going on. But no, I don't feel sorry for him. You know, and and, and how do you expect people to react when footage like this gets leaked out and it also lets you know one more thing for you to do something like that in a hotel hallway that lets you know the type of power you had at that time because somebody like me or y'all it's not only what security would have seen that but they would have called the police ain't no giving no no thousands of dollars but i just want to give my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think